We step in hinge, but notice right here, we need to be keeping an eye, guard and tackle on these two. Again, left side on our bob, we are not, we are aggressive, it is at 90 pass. You're blocking it like it's a 70. So you got to block the rise. As you're pulling, you got to see that the guy's adjusting and you adjust with him. Step and hinge. Now, so that, okay, well, if you don't get off the ball and he gets off the ball ahead of you, that's going to happen, okay, all right, so you anticipate and can't go, then go, because you're going to be slow, get in a good stance and get off the ball, okay, how fast can I get there, that's your mentality, try and drive him on his outside shoulder, get to that shoulder as fast as you can so you get the power, here we go, down, so that, Feet, 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 feet. Yeah, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah, we were uh, five and one last year. We actually gained a forfeit, so but uh, but we were five and one, and and you know it was, our our league was extremely exciting last year. The the Crestview League, I think it was probably the most parity we we've had in in all my years of doing it. You will release and start to push towards the center. Notice I'm still on the A gap. I do not want to stay here. Why? I'm pushing away from where I could be going. Fred De Palma, who uh, lives in the area, and when he retired, uh, showed some interest in coaching near where he lives, and it's been awesome. Watching this program from afar and, and seeing some of their games over the years and coming to this great stadium with this beautiful view, I tell the kids all the time, you have no idea how lucky you are, but, and working with these coaches, Coach Bailey and his staff, I, I, I love it, it's great. I think it's great. We got we got old Bowers, new Bowers. We got obviously our new coach, Coach De Palma. He's a great guy, great coach, and they influence us every day to do our best. I mean, it's it's honestly really great having these like you know a lot of experience when, with your coaching because you know you can t teach a technique, but with someone who's been teaching that technique over and over and over. They can see how to make it better, so we get all the experience from these coaches out here. But we're excited to have a season. We were really young, you know. We started seven sophomores, a freshman, and, and seven juniors, and uh, and they needed games um, to see their their growth through those even the shortened season. Just just the playing games was was tremendous. Got to be the hottest week of the year this first week of pads, and and they're working themselves through it. So, well, yeah, we're excited to be out there. Our first player we're going to talk about is Ren Beal. He is our returning quarterback. He is a junior. Um, he was our team MVP last year and, and did a great job as a as a sophomore in our, our crazy shortened season last year. When you have a second year quarterback, you can do expand the offense and things like that. So we're excited about Ren and what he's going to do this year. Uh, I'm, I'm good at reading defenses. I'm good at taking drops, tossing footballs. I like to stay in the pocket. I'll, I'll escape the pocket when I have to, but I usually just do what my coaches tell me, which is take a drop and throw a pass. Next one is Wyatt Mosier. Wyatt is our middle linebacker, also our backup quarterback, but uh, Wyatt uh, was kind of a catalyst of our defense as a sophomore last year. He's also a junior, and uh, one of our team captains as a junior, which is pretty unusual. So uh, Wyatt is, is a very vocal player for us, a good player for us, also on a lot of special teams. and and uh, we have very high expectations for Wyatt. What I bring to the team, I would like to say hard work and um, I'm a good leader. I like to lead by example, but sometimes you got to get on guys. That's what the black shirt represents, just doing your job and working hard. Next is Chase Jones. Chase Jones is a returning uh, wide receiver. Uh, Chase was one of our uh, offensive our players of the year last year. Uh, did an outstanding job at receiver for us. and. Um, Obviously, uh, with a returning quarterback, um, you know, that kind of combination is, uh, is going to be exciting to watch. Uh, I'd say I'd bring pretty good leadership skills and a role model. Like, I can say that I can go out there and make a, some big plays and I can, like, count, like, see the younger guys looking up to me and being like, that's what I want to be. Also, uh, one of our, our returning tight end, but also going to be playing a lot of defensive line is uh, William Payne. Uh, Will is, uh, is not the biggest player, but, but he has great leverage and worked his tail off in the, uh, in the weight room. 
and just you know I think is going to be a, you know causing some havoc, especially on the defensive line for us this year. Um, I think I'm an aggressive, hardworking, disciplined, um, just as Coach Bailey wants. Um, I bring my all to every single practice and game. Uh, and lastly, our, our returning corner was Andrew Dizow. Dizzy um, just kind of came into his own last year as a junior. He's going to be a senior uh, a deep corner for us, defensive back. And um, just, I mean, was kind of a lockdown corner for us last year. And, uh, and just, uh, like I said, just came out of his own and had a tremendous year. It was, it was our defensive player of the year last year. So. You know, it helps having a little bit of experience in the secondary. We're, besides him, we're pretty young, so he can kind of set the tempo and, and help our younger guys to get where they want to get to. Uh, I mean, in my game, I really just bring a lot of, like, tenacity, force. I'm good in the secondary. I pick a lot of balls, you know, make a lot of big tackles. It's just like that stuff, physical stuff. All right. Hey, guys, great practice today. You know, we got better. We got to keep getting better. That's the, that's the role. Guys, it, it, there's two ways of doing it, man. Hey, I'm just going to get through it. Or do I get better? Okay, do I want to punch the clock or do I want to do it like a champion?